in the heavenlies, en toi et pour años, Ephesians 1, 3, by J. H. Evans, Bournemouth, England. These three words, in the heavenlies, are of transcendent import. Accepting them in their plain meaning, a flood of light illuminates our mind, rejoicing our hearts. Their importance is shown by the fact that nowhere in the New Testament do they occur outside the epistle to the Ephesians. They announce how changed is the position of the believer from what it was before Act 28, and from what it will be after the church which is his body is manifest up with Christ in glory. We are blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies in Christ. How simple, how plain, how definite. The little word in points to the place in which we are blessed. To be blessed in the heavenlies, en toi et pour años, there must be the realization, by faith, that in the purpose of God we are linked together with Christ in his death, burial, resurrection, and exaltation. Only in this way may we become free to enter into the knowledge of our unity with Christ in glory. It is not merely heavenly blessings, for this is the portion of all of the spiritual seed of Abraham in the true Isaac, Christ. Five times do we find these words in Ephesians, five being the number of grace. The word in is found in connection with heaven in many places, and its force here is through its relation to the other two terms. The heavenlies is met with in other places, but not with this in before it. We often come across the term en toi oranios, which is quite different from en toi eporanios. The peculiarity here in the Greek is a little prefix epi, which adds to the word heavenlies the meaning of on, upon, or over, thus over heavenly, and this makes it more plain that the place is far above all the heavens, a chimper anopan ton ton oranon, where our glorified head is, Ephesians 4.10. If this can be seen, it goes a long way toward enabling us to grasp the truth of the mystery and to understand the difference between the bride and the church which is his body. One is heavenly and blessed with heavenly blessings, while the other is blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies in Christ. It is the place where Christ is. It is the place where we are seated together in Christ. It is the inhabitants of this place who are learning God's all various wisdom through the church which he is now forming and above whom we have our place with Christ. It is also the place where our warfare is carried on against wicked spirits. Scripture Research, Vol. 2, No. 9, edited, 